going on everyone? Eric here with the Exodus RC and today we have one of my Texoma RC Cage Slayer chassis finally on some legit rocks. I can't tell you how hard it's been to sit on these things waiting for the snow to melt. Uh, my area has just hasn't gone away and finally it decided to disappear. <laughs> uh, I want to start out saying thank you to everyone for hanging out with me. Uh, I just hit 250 subscribers and I never thought I would see that amount. Uh, so thank you again guys thanks for thanks for kicking it with me so this is the first of four of my slayers that i built uh my son and i have been really into the four wheel steers that i've built uh but i ended up taking this one out because i snapped one of my shock mounts in the parking lot on the way to location so that one will be coming up at some point or another and i really can't wait to bring that out I love the four-wheel steer. <laughs> so I'm running a portal axle conversion kit for now with JLU or C10 rear links up front and some awesome mofo deadbolt trailing arms in the rear. Uh, really extended the wheelbase. This thing, this thing is pretty long. I love it. That's what she said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm running mud terrains uh unfortunately they really didn't perform the way i wanted them to uh but that's okay because i got a set of the uh, new Enjora s5 compound all terrains on the way i've seen and heard nothing but amazing things with them so definitely looking forward to getting those in here i'll be swapping in a 50 turn motor probably at some point uh this was just to get a basic feel for it so i kept the stock one in there uh, I thought it was going to burn out, but it did surprisingly well. Uh, I'm trying to keep this on a, I guess, quote-unquote budget. So that's ultimately why I kept mostly stock. Hope everyone's enjoying the wonderful time change. I thought we were done with that nonsense, but apparently we're still going strong. So bye-bye hour of sleep, but it's not like I sleep anyways. <laughs> You know, especially this weekend, I've been watching a lot of stuff, trying to figure out where I'm, you know, supposed to be going. It was so much fun finally getting out. I can't stress that enough. I'm getting, I've, we've been working on the indoor course, and it's been coming out all right, but it just, it doesn't compare to, you know, actual natural terrain, which is ideally what I want to be out on. But thankfully, good old New England weather always has to have a downfall, so there you go. <laughs> oh man I just want to thank Josh from Texoma I mean dude killing it as always your new stuff is going to be insane so if you guys haven't checked out Texoma RC what are you waiting for bros go check it out hit them up on Etsy buy the Slayer chassis you will not regret it I assure you this thing is sick so I'll leave the link down below. Go buy some shiznit. <laughs> I also want to thank Jason from Jason's RC and Jim over at Rockwolf RC. Um, I jumped in their live streams on YouTube this weekend. Uh, it's such a great time uh, just getting to know y'all and, you know, just absorbing information. Just absorbing information and it's, it's helping me along the way. You know, so if you guys haven't checked them out, I'll link them down below. Go check them out every Friday. Watch for the Beardy Bunch, 10 p.m. Eastern. And Saturday, check out Beard and Wolf Show, 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it's, it's a great time. Absolute great time. Stay tuned because there's going to be much more coming, especially as the nicer weather rolls in. Uh, again, thank you all thank you all from the bottom of my heart it has been it's been great so far uh just over a year now i think i've had my channel going and uh 250 strong i look forward to again more and i look forward to meeting all of y'all so you guys thank you again for hanging out this is eric with the exodus rc i'll see you out there